It was the early 1960s. Roger Brown and his colleagues conducted the first systematic recordings of toddlers, phrases, and sentences. They documented a phenomenon they called telegraphic speech. Here are two examples. Shoes are on the bed. Shoes are on the bed. One, two, three. Mommy counting. Mommy was counting. Utterances like these were described as telegraphic because they resembled telegrams, like arriving Boston 10 a.m. Receiving a telegram was special. Sending a telegram was expensive. Senders paid by the word. To save money, senders omitted words that were predictable parts of grammar, like auxiliaries and prepositions. But toddlers don't omit these words to save money. Toddlers leave these words out because they have not yet learned what these grammatical function words contribute to their messages. When toddlers attempt their first phrases and sentences, they simplify the structure of their language by producing open class words while omitting closed class words. Look on the garden. Go bandin. Okay, but not now. Go bandin. You have to wait a little bit. In English, open class words are nouns, verbs, and adjectives. All other word classes, like pronouns, determiners, auxiliaries, and prepositions, are closed classes. What is it about open class words that leads toddlers to prioritize them? Nouns, verbs, and adjectives share one important quality. They refer, that is, they serve as pointers. Nouns identify objects, verbs identify events and states, adjectives identify properties of things. Open class words guide a conversation partner towards objects of interest, notable properties, and important events. In contrast, closed class words like the and it cannot identify specific objects, events, or properties on their own. When toddlers prioritize the communicative power of open class words before incorporating closed class words, what emerges is the well-known pattern of telegraphic speech. <laughs>